been a little while. A couple weeks, I think. So, just wanted to give you a, a hello and uh, let you know what I got going. So, this has to get emptied. Uh, busted up my butt last weekend. Um, had some computer store pickup and a uh, scrapyard pickup. So, got all those done. So, that's got to get unloaded. Um, been tinkering in the basement. So, that's some of the stuff out of the basement. Still a whole lot more to go. Try to organize some of this. This was all full of computers, so uh, just gotta move some stuff here. These boards still have to be uh, de battery, de CPU, de heat sinked. These two. Um, there's some in there that are done. Oh, what else we got going? Not really much. So, <coughs> just getting some stuff off the floor. Um, got to go through some of this stuff here because, um, hopefully, um, next month, around the middle of the month, um, my Canada stuff should arrive. Um, we've been talking over that, so, gonna have to make some room. Um, I don't think it's gonna be, uh, as big as a load as initially thought at first, um, because he did find a way to save a crap load of money to get it here. So, um, hopefully it's, uh, you know, enough to get us started on doing this. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. But, be nice to make a few dollars. Because, as most of you know, I ain't making crap doing this anymore. Uh, what else we got going on here? Really not much. Just uh working and getting it done. Put all my totes in there. <coughs> I do have a two totes of boards there that are done. Um so yeah, we'll just uh basically going day by day. Uh tomorrow and possibly Wednesday. We're finally going to go and get those uh, rooftops done. Uh, uh, the weather has just been so spotty here. You know, rain showers and everything else that you can't really uh, get anything done. So, this is supposed to be a beautiful week. So, that's scheduled for tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, hopefully, we can get it all done tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. I think it's probably going to be two days. Um, and that generator that's in the same spot out there is, um, disconnected from the gas line and the electrical line. So, once I get the rooftops done, then we can go and start, uh, working on that and get that done. And then it's just, uh, after that, probably... I still have a uh, scrapyard pickup to do out at the uh, the other yard that's further out. Um, they had two or three box Gaylord boxes full of computers and stuff, so I still have to go do that. But I want to get the uh, rooftop stuff done because a lot of that stuff is going to come here. Uh, compressors, motors, coils, wiring, and uh, so I got to have a spot to do that and process that stuff so that is basically why I want to put the um, or get this here cleaned out here this area right here and uh, then I can you know, at least put that stuff here until I can get it uh, processed so uh, this water has been sitting in here for weeks that's when I was doing those copper pieces off those circuit boards. I was heating them up by throwing them in here. I'm not sure what that is. Probably solder. Woo! That bucket's living on the edge. 
like literally living on the edge. And my neighbor put his, uh, well, he put that fence up a long time ago. But remember, there used to be a wire fence there, so we took all that out. And then he shored that uh, fence up, uh, put posts in, and painted it so the old fence is in here. So there's a couple coils of fencing in there. This one here has a big tree hooked to it. So I asked my uh, uh, yard manager if I could bring that piece in and throw it in the shred thing. He said, anything for you. So there you go. Keep a good rapport with your scrapyard. Get away with stuff. So, But yeah, I could have just took it and did it, but I like to ask first. Keeps everybody happy. So, what else we got going on? Anything? Oh, and the one uh, computer I took apart had a... Uh, if you were on Scrapping Irish's stream yesterday, I pulled a Pentium Pro out of uh, one of them, so that was a bonus. <coughs> Some little copper heat sinks. So yeah, that Pentium Pro is um, really, they're really hard to find. Uh, that's the first one I found in probably two years. Um, I had a guy about Four years ago that I used to sell my um, computer monitors to and he got out of the business because it dried up um, his buyer which was overseas quit doing them so he uh, yeah, I'll throw a cast a little bit. Um, gave up the business and he had a box um, of CPUs and he asked me if I, you know, wanted to buy them off of him. So I said, you know, you have to bring them up and, uh, you know, look at them. Well, they were all ceramic. I think there was 180 altogether. And 36 of them were Pentium Pros. But, um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of gold in a Pentium Pro. They just look pretty. Uh, right now, if I sold it to board store, it's worth, like, a little over 20 bucks. So, that ain't bad when you get them for free. But most of my ceramics I sell to my uh, refiner. So, yeah, that was a nice little surprise. So, I still have all these electrical things to, to deal with. Um, I gotta go through these two milk crates because there's some... Uh, it's just all mixed up. So there's IDE in here, which I'll take these off. Uh, I'd say 90% of those, 95% actually are probably SATA, so I'll just sell them with the hard drives. When I went to the computer store, he had a couple fans that actually worked, so I kept those. This one's scotch taped together, but hey, for a garage fan, it'll work, right? And I found a whole bunch more Mylars, so they're all in here, which I'm probably going to end up sending to a shark scrapper. Since he has a place that will buy them, I guess. Um, not much in the CPU department. Um, got a few uh, ceramics in there. And this here is those uh, ugh, those gold ICs that are in like a little plastic thing. A couple slot processors. But yeah, really not much. Really not much. Like I said, I really haven't been doing much. Um, other stuff going on. Other stuff going on. So, with that being said, I'm just going to uh, clean up a little bit today. Um, make it an early day because tomorrow's probably going to be a ball buster. Um, getting those units tore down and thrown off the roof and hauled away. And like I said before, I want to take the uh, the goodies and. Uh, Load them up last because they got to come here. Uh, I just want to get all the metal um, loaded up and take directly to the scrapyard. <clears throat> Hopefully, prices are the same, but I think they went down. There's a cobweb going from there. It goes all the way up, up there somewhere. I can see it in the sun. Yeah, so I don't know if the price to drop. It was only nine cents a pound here to start with. So. I can deal with seven. After that, it's just like, ugh. 
And I gotta get this door out of here. This door's been sitting here for over a week. I think my neighbor across the street gave me it. And let's go say good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. I opened the window and you sit on the other window. What's wrong with you? Huh? Hey. What's wrong with you? I can barely reach you. Come here. No? Well, say hi to your people. Give them a rub. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. He'll sit there and yell at me to open the window, and then he sits the next window over. Oh, what else we got going on? Back grass is 10 feet high, but I don't really care. I don't really care. Look at this big, huge thing. I don't know if I'll get these uh, pipes off of this or not. This might have to go as breakage. If I get those pipes off of there, I can throw it in cast. But they might come off. You never know. Never know. I think I found this thing down there. That's all uh, out of the sun here. One, two, three, four transformers on that. Another milk crate full of uh, gas valves. Motor there. This, I think, was uh, part of a lathe. I'm guessing at one time found this down there. Oh, so really, star window shade machine, star shade cutter, St. Joseph, Michigan. So I'm saying lathe. I don't care what anybody else says, but uh show you this if I can get the door open I got to uh, get this stuff off the steps found a bunch of cell phones a tablet there and a bunch of cable boxes and routers and odds and ends and ends and odds crap load of uh, Xbox games so, it's still a mess, but what I'm doing is I'm going through totes and pulling out, like, shred, stuff that I don't really want to deal with, and I got a couple of uh, totes in the van full of that. Um, this is all stuff I can break down. That tote there is all boards. Um, some are still on, like, the metal housings, like this one, so still got to clean that up. Some more wire there. Plus, I took out a big tote of uh, wire. Some more electrical stuff there. Electrical stuff there. A lot of this stuff. Winter work, as Mr. Matthew says. Winter work. Um, so, pretty much all this stuff I went through. Uh, this is actually breakage. This can probably go in the van and shred, but I don't have the room to put it in there. Still had to go through these two milk crates. That tote, this tote, I think, is all this stuff. Some wiring and stuff, lights. But these are all aluminum, so. This is a uh, adapter, power adapter, but I just take those to board sort. I like to see what the price is on those. Um, if shred's paying more, I'll just throw them in the shred pile. I'm not breaking them apart for transformers. That's shred there. So the rest of this stuff, I still have to go through. It's a, it's a uh, process, that's for sure. But a little bit of room here. Then I moved some stuff here, and this wall is a whole lot worse than I thought it was. Um, like that crack right there. You can actually see. You can see how deep it is. But that goes all the way through to the, the back side of the block. This one, too. This is starting to shift. Well... This is starting to pull out a little bit there. Then right here, there's a big old hole. So I'm not sure what that's about. Here it's starting to flake off. But this crack here goes all the way down. I'll show you on the way out. 
show you on the way out. And I still have motors over there. So, the pile's getting smaller. Um, there's still a lot to go through, though. A lot to go through. So, um, every couple of days or so, I come down here and putz around for an hour or so. <clears throat> and these shelves, I have to figure out where to put these shelves. Um... Because I don't really want to throw them away. They're actually good shelves. And then this spool right here is a thousand feet. I haven't moved this thing in years. <laughs> this is a thousand feet of coax cable with the solid core thing on it. But this is all going to go out in the shred pile. Yeah, it's got a little weight to it. I had two of those from a former uh, boss that was cleaning out his parts warehouse. So that's from back when I first started doing this thing. Thought I was going to get somewhere with it, but slowly slowing down. There's some scrapping Irish stuff, gold plate stuff. So yeah, still plenty to do here. Um, like I said, I'm just going through everything and. When I get a minute, it's uh, that's all stuff that's already pretty much clean. Just got to go put it where it belongs. These are all just tool sets and stuff I keep finding everywhere. Keep putting them in bins and that's got shit missing. Scrap pile. It's all half inch drive though. Might take those out when I do the uh, the generator. I'd rather break the cheap tools than the good tools, right? So I don't know. Don't know. All right. So there you have an update on the basement. So yeah, like I said, it's uh, gonna be a beautiful weekend. Um, today is just scrapyard and just putzing around in the garage for a couple hours. Um, and like I said, then I'm taking the, got to, uh, get ready for Tuesday and possibly Wednesday. Um... And they are uh, redoing the parking lot out there at that facility. So they have it sectioned off for different dates. And where I have to do the generator, you know, I appreciate the neighbor cutting my grass. And I didn't care that he used my recycling bin. But he left my gate open. What if somebody went in there and stole something? Like that broken tote. You know, the guy has no, no care about other people's shit. And he'll watch this, so he'll know I'm not happy with him. So, but yeah, they're uh, redoing the parking lot out there, and they're doing it in sections. So, um, basically, where I have to go to get the generator, the area I have to use, they're doing, I think, from the eighth to the eleventh, which I think is Monday to what is it? Monday to the, Monday to Thursday, Monday to Wednesday, something like that. And I think where the uh, rooftop stuff is, that's like the 22nd or something. So, kind of the only time and they have to do that. I don't know what this thing is. It's like a tape drive, but it was in one of the computers I did. But, I got two electric motors in it. No, I'm not taking a copper out of them, so don't ask. You should all know better. You should all know better. Yeah. Got some uh, copper there. I was screwing around one day doing, uh, I don't know, I think some of these toroids. But this is all going to go to the, I'm not going to take all this copper out of these toroids. I'm just going to, that's just uh, motors. I'm not, I got too much other stuff to do and I need a, uh, oh here's a tote from the uh, 
the basement. I gotta go do all this wire, separate it all. Those all go to board sort. There's some more of those adapters in there. They go to board sort. This stuff is just uh, stuff that's gotta be taken apart. No idea what's in there. It looks like garbage. So probably be a next shred run. <sighs> and I have my uh, CD-ROM mountain. So still gotta pull all the boards out of these. And uh, hit this light so it goes on. There you go. Yeah, Ian Matthews, just tap it. It'll work. Just give it a tap. The fluorescent light king. And still got this thing to deal with. Um, if I don't get to it, I'll just push it back under the bench for now. And I have all these damn faucets. I just cut the hoses off, and uh, I'm not going to sit here and take them all apart like some people do. Not this guy. Not this guy. <coughs> I'll cut the little copper stuff off of them, but, you know, I mean, you know most, most of these are probably like stainless or something anyway. Oh, yeah, that's pretty fancy. That was probably a pretty penny when they bought it. This all came from my neighbor across the street, one of the houses he was working on. Um, I used to work for the same guy that he did, or, and well, he still does. He works for the daughters now. Um, the guy passed away, but every house that this guy had that had a garage, he had piled with crap. Definite hoarder. So they were cleaning out one of the houses, and I mean, he had stuff in every bedroom, the attic, garage, the whole nine yards, the yard. Um, so he's been bringing me stuff. Alright guys, so with that said, I'm gonna get my butt in gear and, uh, try to get something done. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I'll give you an update on what's going on. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do a video tomorrow, because I'd say I'll probably be busy, but... Um, if anything, I'll give you a video when I get the rooftop stuff here, um, as we call it, the goodies, and I'll let you know on, uh, scrap prices, see what shredding stuff is now. So, stay safe, guys. Appreciate y'all. Sorry for the absence, but just got a lot going on. Um, and I will talk to you all later.